TOA community, Robert Linkle, trainingtheolderadult.com, here to answer your rucking questions. And ruck question number three, which is preferred, weighted vest or rucksack backpack? This is a great question as well. I, uh, I would suggest, I think it's, there's a preference, number one. And, and we kind of have like a golden rule. Our golden rule is if you're going to go out, and I, by us, I just mean TOA, okay? My, my rule that I've established for myself and my clients, if you're going to go out for longer than an hour, get a rucksack. If it's going to be an hour or less, 60 minutes or less, you could wear a vest. And here's why. When you're wearing a vest, any vest, no matter which ones I've seen, no matter how much they wrap around your ribs or how much you can cinch them up, the direct carry pressure is on your traps and your shoulder blades and it's pulling down on you, okay? The average individual after about 30 minutes is gonna start to feel that trap pressure. And usually you're gonna have to start to recruit more from your neck, your levator scapulae, your sternocleidomastoid, all those other muscles are gonna have to start to engage more. By doing that, there's opportunity to stress your neck and your, and your head and your face more. And so you could start to aggravate shoulders, neck, and, and head injuries. With that being said, there's a level of uh, adaptation, I would say, that your body will get used to carrying this load as you progress it. So if you progress wearing a vest appropriately, wear it for 10 minutes, for a week or two, you know, you start your walk, go out five minutes, come back five minutes, drop off your vest, go do the rest of your walk, okay? The next week, carry it for, for 15 minutes, the next week, 20 minutes, and so on. And build up so your body doesn't go from, I've never carried weight to I carried it for an hour. Of course, it's going to stress and probably damage you a little bit. As with anything else, progress with moderation, okay? Number, number two on that is when you're wearing the vest, you want to be able to breathe. And so you don't want it cinched up really tight. But the way that you spread the surface area of the load around your body is by cinching it up tighter to take the pressure off your shoulders. So basically, if you're gonna, <laughs> if you're gonna go 45 minutes to maybe 60 minutes at max, you can get away with wearing a vest. I personally don't like to rock wearing a vest. Number one, I go out longer than an hour, but number two, I don't like that stress on my shoulders. I will wear a vest for 20 to 30 minutes while I do a workout and that's what I use my vest for. If you're gonna go for 45 minutes to an hour or more, definitely get a rucksack. The rucksack, backpack, and you don't have to go and buy a big fancy one. You could wear your Jansport backpack from high school. You just need something that will carry on your shoulders, ideally has a clip in the center here that hooks together to allow that unit to become one so it's not constantly pulling on your shoulders. And I strongly advise you to get hip supports where there's a belt that wraps around and cinches up on the top of your hips. That way you can loosen the shoulder straps, tighten the hip straps. And I would say about half, if not more of the weight is now carried on your hips and not via your shoulders pushing down. Think of it this way. The weight is strapped to your back. The hip harness holds that, but the shoulder straps basically just keep it from falling backwards. Okay. Now you are going to feel a little shoulder pressure, of course, but not as much if you didn't have that hip harness. Now, some will suggest that wearing the hip harnesses encourages more hip flexor and it's gonna work as a valsalvic pressure belt and that kind of thing. And that's, there, there is some evidence to support that. So that's why you don't cinch it as tight as you can and you can't breathe. You cinch it tight enough to where it sits along the iliac crest, that's the top of the pelvis. You put it just above that and then you cinch it to where when the weight slides down, it, it just kind of hugs the top of your hips. And that way your hips carry that load. Your hips are much stronger with this. And you don't have that vertical compression force down on your body. It's very similar to belt squatting as opposed to back squatting. You know, in the weight room, you're reducing your axial vertical compression force. And this helps a ton. You're able to get out, go ruck, enjoy yourself, go for longer than 45 to 60 plus minutes. And either way, vest or ruck, the important part is you're getting out, you're doing it, you're having fun, you're being safe. Comments, questions, hit me up down below. If not, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.